There's no doubt that Governor Newsom is destroying California. We've seen how he's handled the pandemic and turned his back on his citizens, requiring them to shelter in place while he enjoyed expensive dinners at French Laundry with family and friends and others. That state is in need of a breath of fresh air, and we know who is completely fit for the job. Now, we need leaders who are unafraid to leap to new heights. He's got a who are unafraid to challenge and to change the status quo. Let's bring in California gubernatorial candidate, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Really appreciate. Let me ask you this. How you doing? They say politics is a blood sport. And, ro and, you're, and running <laughs> for a governor's seat in, in, in the <laughs> largest state in the union is blood sportish. How you doing? Well, I am doing just fine. It's very different being on the inside of politics than I've always <laughs> kind of been on the outside. But um, it's been a very positive experience. Um, you know, I took on the Soviet Union back in 1976. There was the biggest athletic power in the world, and I was able to win. Now I want to go to Sacramento, and I want to take on this teachers' union and win for your kids. Um, there's a lot of work to be done, but I am, I'm up for it. Um, I'm really kind of enjoying this. Yeah, they're going to take some shots at me, but I can handle it. So you're there in California. I'm here in another liberal state, New York. Taxes are raging out of control here. What, do you, what, are your, what is your platform for the state of California? Um, we have to develop a tax uh, system here in California, because we're like the most tax state, the most regulated state. Mm -hmm. Actually, as a friendly business environment, they did this survey, and out of 50 states, California was number 49. Thank you, New Jersey. They were the only ones ahead of us. Um, we have to uh, improve and do a better job. Um, it's so important that we get competitive with other states. 18,000 companies have left California, and they've left for one reason. They didn't leave because of the beaches. They didn't leave for the, you know, Yosemite. They left because of high taxes and high regulations. We have to develop a system here in California where um, uh, we have to be competitive with other states. I never see California going to a, a zero corporate tax rate like, you know, Florida or Texas, but we can be competitive. And... You know, we have the greatest resources in the world here. Um, people don't mind paying a little bit something in taxes, but it has to be competitive with the other states. We cannot continue to lose businesses and lose residents. We lost a congressional seat this last year because we got less people living here. Um, we have to stop uh, yeah, people the are exodus. People are fleeing California. California. High tax states, California and, and, and Illinois and even New York yeah. and pickups in Florida and Texas, as you point out, also in, in, in South Carolina, where I tend to live. So they're, they're switching gears a little bit. You know, we have the right person in the right seat for this story that's been all the rage all week. Um, Gwen Berry, she's an Olympic uh, hammer thrower, right? And she was a bronze medalist yeah. trying to, to get to the, to the Olympics, representing the United States. She caught a lot of heat for turning away and showing some pictures right now. She turned away from the, from the flag on the national while the national anthem was being played. Let me just set this up a little bit. Gwen Berry claims that it was uh, disrespectful to her that the committee played the national anthem when she was about to be on the podium like they were supposed to somehow know that crybaby Gwen Berry was going to be upset by the playing of the national anthem of her country. Take a look, listen to how she describes what was going through her mind at the time. I never said that I didn't want to go to the Olympic Games. That's why I competed and got third and made the team. I never said that I hated the country. Never said that. All I said was, I respect my people enough to not stand or acknowledge something that disrespects them. I love my people, point blank, period. You get that? It was the committee's fault for disrespecting Gwen Berry, the bronze, the third place finisher, for, by playing the national anthem of the country she represents. I'd love you to weigh in on that. Honestly, it's disgusting. Um, I love this country, I love this state. Um, I was the first person ever to put the American flag up at the finish line in 1976, and I'm very proud of that because I'm proud of my country. I'm, 
I'm proud that my country gave me the opportunity to grow up to be who I am. Um, I don't like political statements on the podium. Uh, we shouldn't do that. This is the greatest gathering of, of people and countries in the world. Over 200 countries will be at the Olympic Games. There's only 150 something countries in the UN and it has such potential for good. Don't destroy it. Uh, be honest with you, uh, we don't have a worry in the world that she'll be on the podium there because she got third there. The other two girls ahead of her are so much better. And there's other ones throughout the world in the ha in the hammer throw. So I think that was kind of her last hurrah. You know, I, I, I know. let's throw up. We have a full screen, a side by side from when Barry at a prior event holding up the flag There's a before and after. You know, what do you suppose happened there? What happened in those years between when she was very, very patriotic, very respectful of the flag, the country, and the anthem, to this past week when she decided to hold up a, a, an activist athlete T-shirt in one of the most hallowed moments, surely, of her career? Athletes should be in there to run, to represent themselves and their greatness and their talent and represent the country uh, in a dignified way. Uh, I don't like any of that stuff. I was in the, when all of this started, I was in the village in 1972 uh, when terrorists came in and took the Israeli athletes hostage. I saw one of the terrorists. It happened in the build, building next to me. I hated it. I was so ticked off that they're using my platform, this great thing called the Olympics, for their own political gain. It shouldn't happen at the games. It, you know, there, there's another athlete, and uh, she's a BMX alternate who March of last year, I believe, she posted something on Facebook saying that if she won, she was looking forward to be on the podium so she could burn the American flag. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what goes on. How did sports become the political or the, the activist statement platform in, in the country? How, it was supposed to be shielded from all that, wasn't it? I don't know how it's come. Uh, athletes have kind of just gotten full of themselves and they want to make, you know, we were just talking earlier about wokeness in the military. It's like everybody's gone this woke thing. Um, get out there. You're an athlete. Participate. Do the best you possibly can. Show your talents. Uh, stay out of politics. Uh, don't use this great forum um, uh, for your own political gain. Um, but out here in California, honestly, we have more issues than this right now. Right, right. We right. have a terrible immigration. Right. Yeah, a terrible immigration problem on our border. Um, it really, and it needs to be fixed, and Gavin Newsom isn't doing anything about it. Just recently, we had a couple of decisions by the Supreme Court, which were actually in our favor. One, and it was a nine to zero um, uh, vote that if you come in under the TAPS program, the Temporary Protected Status Program, that you cannot get citizenship, that's good. They also uh, agreed the other day on uh, if um, you cannot receive bond if, uh, if you're in this state illegally and get arrested. Um, uh, you have no ba uh, bond hearing. So that is all good. It helps us a lot because in California, when I'm governor, I want to close our southern border down. We have to finish the wall. That's interesting. Bottom you know line. Yeah, I, I, I think that's fascinating. California, a California governor or a candidate for California governor recommending closing the southern border. I think that's music to any, any conservative's ears yes. in California and probably independence. I mean, let's be honest, for you to win, you're going to need that independent vote. Is that popular in California? Yeah, well, uh, the border is a big issue. Immigration is a big issue here in this state. Uh, yes, we have to alter use state funds uh, on state land to be able to close the border down. We have to do that. Um, if you are arrested in this state and you are here illegally, you're out of here. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of great people who have come to this country yeah. uh, from the South who are great people. Well, you, you, you do They've this. They've been here 10, Caitlin, 20 years. Caitlin. And with our, 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 yeah, our immigration system is so difficult, they can't get their citizenship. But they're great people. I want those to be able to get, be able to get um, at, uh, status in this country, legal status in this country, so they can stay. They are an integral part of our sure. economy here in Southern Cal in California sure. and an intricate part of our culture here. 
So the good ones, I would like to be able to stay, but, you know, the bad ones, they got to go. We have to be tough on immigration here in the state. Wow. Music to our ears. Caitlyn Jenner, gubernatorial candidate for the state of California. Thank you so much for joining us. It was my pleasure. Go California, CaitlynJenner.com. Join in, donate, follow us. Uh, we're fighting a big fight out here. Caitlin, we're going into the bluest of blue states. Ca yes. CaitlynJenner.com. Go check it out. And by the way, don't, don't hate me, but I haven't been keeping up with the Kardashians. Appreciate your time, Caitlin, as always. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's over with. I'm moving on to governor. There you go. Good luck. Good luck, my friend. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.